All right, everyone, we start off today with Kamala Harris chickening out. This was entirely predictable. The idea was that Donald Trump wanted three presidential debates. And, of course, the one with Joe Biden it doesn't really count because he's not the nominee. J.D., meanwhile, he wants two debates with Tim Walls. Now, here's the normal structure. Normally, you have only one VP debate. Uh, it's fine to request a second one, but it's, it's generally it's only one of them. With the presidential debates, normally you have one debate, which is more general. Then you have a dedicated foreign policy debate. And then you have a town hall style debate. You have three of them. Unfortunately, Kamala Harris has decided not to go with that and is only going to debate Trump, I guess, once. I'm not 100% sure if a second debate is actually going to happen. Uh, and of course, uh, with J.D. Vance and Tim Walls, it looks like there's only going to be one debate locked in. Now, the hope is that Donald Trump decides to drag Kamala Harris. I mean, this is uh, posted... Uh, repost from Truth Social. I think that Donald Trump should simply return to Twitter myself, but that's just my opinion. Um, saying, Comrade Kamala, you know, she's basically chickened out. Uh, I would like to debate her multiple times, and that's exactly what he needs to do. You need to get Kamala Harris, number one, out before the public. The more she appears, the less palatable she is. Number two, to get her on record. The more people know about her ideology, the more people are turned off by it. Uh, that's, that's what needs to be done, and that's what I think Trump and, and Vance are attempting to do. Same with Walls. It would be funny if uh, Vance brought up horse semen during the debate, although I suspect that will not actually be the case. Uh, the thing is that Kamala is effective, effectively trying to hide. It's Hayden Harris. The idea is simply to punt the Kasich effect down the lane and hide as much as possible like Biden did in 2020 so that you're sort of an unknown quantity versus a known quantity. Then we get the news today that RFK Jr. might be in talks effectively to drop out of the race and endorse Donald Trump. Again, the political chaos continues. Um, I, I, I'm a political analyst. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm telling you that I got no fucking clue what the fuck is going on half the time these last few weeks. It's become that sheer. Kamala will come out and make a statement she'll be incoherent. Trump gets shot. Uh, Biden drops out. Uh, J.D. Vance will say something that's, you know, off hinge. Tim Walls will, you know, pump up the crowd and, and he's always off the rails. Uh, it's very, very difficult in the current political climate to guess actually what's going on sometimes. It's basically like, uh, imagine, two armies go to war, they're all in formation, and they march towards each other. You've got the archers, and you've got the pikemen, and everything else. But then all hell breaks loose, and the armies get completely intertangled, and now it's just basically a bare-knuckle brawl, and they're just beating on each other. That's basically the point to which we have devolved into for U.S. politics. Um, but Harris chickening out on at least one additional debate is rather telling. She does not want to be on Fox News number one, and she doesn't want to be on TV in front of, uh, you know, the U.S. public having to answer Trump's questions number two uh, any more than she has to. Entirely predictable. She's a poor debater. She's a poor communicator. Sometimes she says things and it's like, oh, what, you know, am I having a stroke, basically? Um, she, and, and her staff knows this. She probably, in her narcissism, and she's a psychopath, a literal one, by the way, she probably would like to debate Trump more. She's probably like, oh, bring him on, bring him on. Her staff and her aides and stuff probably had to talk her down from that. That's why there was an extended period of time where it looked like this might have actually happened. But then in the end, of course, it didn't happen. Um, they had to prevail upon her, probably, to get her to drop the issue. Say, look, Miss Harris, um, I'm really, really sorry to inform you, but you, you've, you've got something else to do that day. They probably tried to distract her or something like that. You know, we've, we've decided to uh, hold a rally that day instead of a debate. You know, it's a better idea. You know, you can get more votes and stuff like that. We're going to Pennsylvania. They probably tried to distract her or something like that. 
Wouldn't that be funny? Presidential candidate, their aides and their staffers are constantly, constantly trying to cajole them. Constantly trying to say, I know you're great. You're great at debating. Uh, don't worry. I, I don't question that. But uh, we've got something else. Uh, you know, it's, it's already scheduled. We scheduled it uh, uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, sorry about that. I have a feeling that that's actually happening. It's a little bit different from with Joe Biden. With Joe Biden, it's more like his handlers have to clean up his poop, quite literally. Um, with Kamala Harris, it's more like they have to prevent her from making political poop, if that makes any sense. It must be uh, interesting being on the campaign staff. By the way, they mandated that anyone that wanted to volunteer with the Kamala campaign they had to be up to date on their jabby jabs. Mm. Also very telling as well. I wonder what the administration would do if it takes form. She's chickened out though. With regards to the debate, she fucking chickened out. She doesn't want to go before the public. Her staff don't mm. want her to go before the public. They want to hide her as much as possible in hopes that the Kasich effect carries her to victory. In the end, I suspect they will be unsuccessful, but it's a novel idea. An absentee campaign. We have seen one that was successful before in 2020. Generally speaking, though, you, I mean, if you've got a good ideas, you pitch them to the public, right? You tell the public, this is what I want to do, A, B, and C. Um, and and it, you pitch yourself. Uh, Kamala appears to be uninterested in doing so. I'm not particularly surprised, by the way. That's about all. Peace out.